Hey everybody, it's Cassie, and today I'm going to show you what I got in the month of October. I got a total of 16 books, two books I bought, one I got from my grandma, and the rest I got from my mom. She goes to library book sales, which is awesome, and she gets books she thinks she'll like, books I like, and then we swap and read them, and it's, it's great, so thanks mom. The first book I'm going to show you, <laughs> let me get it, is It by Stephen King. I'm still reading this book. It has taken me all of October, but I have also been listening to other books and reading other books, so I have not continued on. What? But I do plan on going, continuing reading this month in, in November. The next book I got is The Time Fetch by Amy Herrick. It is a middle grade YA, I think, um, time traveling book. And it sounds so interesting. It, I plan on reading this as soon as possible. Next book I'm really, really excited to read is Raven Queen by Pauline Francis. It is about Lady Jane Grey. Um, she, it says on the back right here, it says, Raven Queen weaves a mesmerizing tale of love and tragedy based on the life of Lady Jane Grey. All too often remembered just as a line in an English history book. I'm so excited to get into this. I, I love historical fiction. It's one of my favorite genres. The next book I got is Three by Ted Decker. I have no idea what this is about. Um, let's see. It says... Oh, on the back it says, enter a world where nothing is what it seems, where your closest Bye. friend could be your greatest enemy. Bye. Bye. So if that does not sound interesting, I don't know what does. The next book I got, I'm so happy to get, is Winter by Marissa Meyer. I now have Cinder... Crest or Cinder, Scarlet, Crest, and Winter. I hope to get Fairest and Stars Above soon. But, and I had a question. Do I have to read Fairest before I read this book? I know it becomes between Crest and Winter. So let me do know down below if I can skip that book or if I have to read it because I'd love to read it how it goes. The next book I have is Frankenstein by Dean Kuntz. It's Frankenstein, um, a lost souls novel. I, my mom said it's, he creates um, new humans, new people. Um, I'm really not sure much about it, but it sounded interesting from what she told me, if only I can remember. And I love that cover. The next book, oh, I got this one from my grandma too. Sorry, she gave me two books. <laughs> and this one is Hillbilly Elegy by J.D. Vance. It is a memoir memoir of a fam family and culture in crisis. And then that was my son that just ran by. She said that this was such a good read. Um, I don't usually read these kinds of books, but maybe if I read this one, I'll read more. Another book I got is Jewels of the Sun by Nora Roberts. Um, my mom said I would like this because it has kind of like a fae fantasy type vibe in it. So I love that type. I mean, I am actually writing a book. I'm participating in NaNoWriMo this month and I'm writing a book. It's fae fantasy. I hope it'll be like an epic fantasy type novel. <laughs> we'll see at the end of the month how it turns out. But anyways, the next book I have is Lovely Bones by Alice Sebold. I watched the movie. I love the movie. So I cannot wait to see how the movie and book differs. I know the books always go so, so much more into detail than the movie does. So I can't wait to see what was left out. Okay, so the next set of books that I have are all part of a series, and the first book is called Tunnels by Roderick Gordon, 
and Brian Williams. These books have stuff, um, things to do with your, your phobias. I mean, it's, it really gets into your head. It is a middle grade kind of slash YA um, genre. This series sounds so interesting the way it could mess with your mind. And the first book, like I said, is called Tunnels. Look at that cover. The next book is Deeper. The next book is Free Fall. The fourth book is Closer. And the fifth book is Spiral. I absolutely love these covers. They're so graphic and detailed. I'm, it's, it looks so cool. This series looks amazing and I cannot wait to get into them. And the last two books that I got in the month of October are Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. I'm so, I'm, uh, I'm so happy to have this book. I loved her first book. It was absolutely amazing. And I have a feeling this book is going to be even better than the first one. The last book I got is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. I have not read Empire of Storms yet, so I cannot read this one, but I know I have to read this one to read the last one. I am so ready for her to get the last book out that I'm going to marathon the whole entire series. All right, everyone, that is all the books that I got this month. Let me know down in the comments, comments how many books you got in the month of October. This has been the biggest haul I think I've had in several months. I think like last month or the month before I got just a few, which I mean, it does not matter how many books a month you get, but this was a pretty big haul for me. And I'm, I'm so blessed and happy with it all. Let me know in the comments how many books you've read. I wanted to let you know about NaNoWriMo. I, like I said, I am participating in it. And since there are 30 days in the month of November, I know some people plan on vlogging for a whole week, but since there are 30 days, I'm going to do every five days. And I have already kind of started vlogging today, this morning. We'll update it on the 5th, or upload it on the 5th, then the 10th, and so on and so forth. So look for my videos. Let me know if you are participating in NaNoWriMo, and let me know the genre of your novel. I would love to know what type of story you want to write. Also, let me know if you're vlogging your um, NaNoWriMo experience because I would love to watch those vlogs. I am in such a vlogging, watching mood lately. I love them. I mean, it's nice to have in the background when I'm doing dishes or just housework. And it, like I said, it's nice to listen to. Let me know how many books you got. Let me know if you're participating in NaNoWriMo and what your genre is. I wish you all the best of luck this month with NaNoWriMo. I wish you all the best of luck with your TBR this month. And just, I just hope you have a, a, an amazing month. I will see you guys later. Bye.